Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to Dark Demons Born from Blood Souls 2. So last time, we continued along past the Odin Church, we took out a whole bunch of big fellas, somehow haven't died yet, and we arrived here, at Old Yarnum, which you may remember we found a document next to the crazy old man in the wheelchair with a shotgun that mentioned that Old Yarnum had been condemned and burned to the ground. Well, it kinda has, it was closed off, we were warned not to come in by a mysterious voice, who I believe is a man on a roof. The reason I believe that is because there's... I see enemies over there. It's because there's a man on a roof with a bloody Gatling gun that has been shooting the shit out of me the entire time. As you can see, we have one bullet and two vi- Oh, hello, buddy. Holy shit. Damn it. Oh, oh we got the backstab. Ha-ha. <laughs> That'll teach you, you ambushing son of a bitch. And that's why you have to listen out for the sound. But anyway, he warned us not to come in, he said, you know, it's full of beasts and shit, and the hunters aren't welcome. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely full of beasts. Yeah, this one's bigger than the one on the right. Interesting, very interesting, oh shit. Indeed. But yeah, he has been shooting at me with a Gatling gun the entire time. I don't know where he is, but I can assume we can kill him at some point, maybe even get his gun. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, first of all, let's get rid of this guy. Damn, it goes really dark when we don't have the torch out. Speaking of the torch, yeah. Does it burn? Does it freaking burn? It burns, this master! It burns! Suck it, Gollum. Go back to Lord of the Rings, you son of a bitch. I never trusted you. Okay, and then again, I never trust Frodo either. That little backstabbing bastard and Samwise Ganji. No, you can't trust no one in Middle-earth, man. No one. And again, we found a lot of antidote. Well, there you go. We found a lot of antidote around the place, which leads me to believe we're probably coming up to this game's version of Blind Town. Now, I thought that a while ago, and we still haven't. So, I guess maybe there's just some poison shit around here that we just have been fortunate enough not to run into yet. Or maybe the area after this is gonna be, uh... There's gonna be a dude down there by that altar-looking thing? I don't know. This place is gigantic. I guess we'll come back to their room. But yeah, anyway, I don't remember what the bloody hell was saying. Basically, if there's not poisonous enemies around here, I would imagine we're going to be running into a Blight Town situation. So yeah, either way, it doesn't really bode well. Don't know if we want to go in that room. I feel like something might pop out of it and ambush me. So I'm going to try and keep an eye out behind me and try and listen for it, but... Yeah, this seems like this... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of dudes. It's like a freaking ghoul lemon party up in here. I don't know what they're called, they look like ghouls to me. Boom! That did not kill you. Or apparently even phase you. He's like, what? Did someone tap me on the shoulder? With a giant fiery fist? Hello, buddy. You don't scare me, you can get out of here. You're like a little midget werewolf guy. I fought bigger things than you already. I mean, the first enemy of the game was like, oh god. It was like 10 times more imposing than you are. And frankly, after you know it murdered us, we beat the shit out of it. Boom! That did jack over damage. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, you still hurt. We may want to heal. I'm going to try and use the hammer. Oh, we got a little tiny bit. Oh, God, we have to heal now. This is not good. Okay, one blood vial left. Well, shit. Should probably just be using the torch way more than I am. The hammer, oh god, it hits very hard if you charge it up, and it's decent for the jump attacks. But besides that, the hammer, man, the, oh god, it's nowhere near as good as it probably should be for how slow it is. Though then again, like I say, it's probably more designed for uh, charging it up. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna miss. See, that's that's partly the problem. You have to, like, preemptively, oh my god. You have to preemptively charge, because everything, hing, <laughs> how did that not hit me? Everything is very quick, as you can see. Buddy, I'm seriously gonna have to ask that you die? You're tight. There we go. Did we get a double kill? Yes, we did. Is that everybody? Jesus. That was a hell of a lot of dudes. Oh, I just realized there's like uh, a little bar thing at the top that's ticking down. Oh, my HP's going down. Oh. Oh, hello. What the hell are you doing over there? So I guess we're poisoned? I had no idea. I should probably whip out an antidote, but uh, not really a good situation for me to be doing that, and I guess it's about to wear off anyway. But yeah. Okay, yeah, the, the charge attacks, even with a sword, seem pretty darn good if you can get them off. And I guess that's kind of the payoff is, you know, it's hard to pull off to get the right timing. Got more Madman's Knowledge. Now, I learned a couple more things about Madman's Knowledge since last time. 
Is it just me? Or does that look like that's going to be a boss? Like, I get the feeling we're going to walk under it, or maybe, like, when we click on the altar or something, that thing's going to drop down. Because it looks dead, but I don't think it is. It's going to drop down, and it's going to beat the shit out of me, isn't it? It's all tied up. Oh, God, this is so a freaking boss. There's blood everywhere, man. What the hell? I bet it's when we grab this. Ah, oh, shit. Hello? You gonna attack me? Not yet, apparently. I'm, uh... I'm terrified. Okay, so... Ah, oh, okay, so the fire paper puts fire on our weapon, so basically it's charcoal pine resin. Good to know. And there was something else I wanted to check out. Track beasts. Okay, so they're alluring skulls. And what was the other thing? That's a damn good question. I don't know what we just picked up. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Used in a holy chalice ritual. Holy chalice! Okay. I remember the holy chalices. There was something mentioning holy chalices on the gravestones back in Hunter's Dream. So, yeah. I guess it's something for later. I don't know. Maybe we can go activate it now with that. But you would think we would need a holy chalice. Or maybe we need this to get a holy chalice. I don't know. I don't see any enemies down here. I see booty. Oh, there's uh, crows. I was gonna say, like, there's no way it's just gonna be no holy shit. There's no way it's just gonna be nothing down here. Yeah, get grounded, son. Okay, I see a lot more shit down the right. It looks like we can probably go down there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, God, no, 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 no. It's a bad crow. Ow, it's a bad crow, buddy. Bad. Well, look at the bright side. We're actually, believe it or not, despite the fact that we just slaughtered like 10,000 dudes, we have more blood vials than when we started this episode. We had two, we have three now. And we used quite a few, so... Damn, I was really hoping there were going to be blood vials. Yeah, it definitely looks like we can probably go down there at some point. Could just be scenery, but I doubt it. It's, it's one of those games that seems like pretty much wherever you see, you can go. Kind of like Dark Souls 1. At least so far. And, uh, I can't help but notice we still haven't dealt with the dude on the roof. So maybe we want to go back here and see if there's some way we can get up there, because... I feel like going out there, he's got to start shooting me again, because... He's a bit of a dick. Is this thing going to drop down behind me? I am surprised. I am genuinely surprised by that. Okay, so I believe there was an opening uh, right here, in fact. And I just saw an enemy. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Nice freaking try. You get out of here, son. Okay, no, 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 no. It's just a freaking shoulder barging me. Oh, okay, so that built up a bunch of poison. We're not poisoned, I think. Yeah. But it almost built it up. So, I guess those are the enemies why there's a bunch of antidotes around here. I could be wrong. But I think before this episode, we hadn't actually been hit by a single one. So, I guess that's why I didn't realize that we were poisonous. I guess that's, you know, that's... It's not necessarily a bad thing. But at least now we know that. Okay, so, I believe there was also a doorway over on the left over here. We kind of walked around, but we didn't actually do anything in here. Looks like... Yeah, it looks like it might just allow us to drop down into some booty or something. Doubt we can walk along here. No, no we can't. Okay, that's where I just was, and... Oh, there's booty right there. Ambush? Really? No ambush? Okay, so we got some soul consumables. Well, looks like we're done here, so I guess we have to head out the door and go to the right where we just were. Unless I'm missing something somewhere else, which, frankly, I probably am. But I don't think I am. Okay, sorry about the random cut there. I actually just realized I had to go upload a Bloodborne video. What a coincidence. Anyway, I remember what I was going to say before about uh, I learned something new about the insights. Now, it should be noted. Don't take these as facts. Because I don't think even the people that told me are 100% clear. By the way, there's a door here. That so felt like an ambush. And did we just get like six blood valves? I'm down with that. That's extremely handy. Because anyway, insights. Apparently if you have one insight, the doll comes to life. It wasn't because I killed the cleric boss, so it's because I popped that random one, because I was testing it out before we even killed the cleric demon. Uh, cleric beast. And you notice we have nine now. I don't know where we got the other eight. I can only assume maybe bosses dropped them. I don't really know. I think we still had one after we killed the cleric beast. So maybe it's just something you gather over time, like, uh, passively. Kind of like you can humanity in Dark Souls 1. I really don't know. 
But also, apparently, when you have 10 plus insights, a shop will open up in, uh, What the hell is it called? Hunter's Dream. Apparently, around the back of the house. So yeah, there should be a shop there, and I think it's a shop that literally you have to have insight to buy from. Like, the currency is insight for whatever it is. Don't know what you buy there, and yeah, apparently when you drop down below 10 insight, again, the, uh... Oh, this is, uh, this is freaking terrifying. Well, there's gonna be something hiding around here somewhere. But yeah, apparently when you drop below 10 insight, then that shop disappears again until you get more. You also need at least one to actually summon someone to your, help, to your world for help, as I thought you would. And the other thing, apparently having uh, insight passively... Uh, oh god! Holy shit, where did you come from? I guess you were just lying down on the floor. The ghost freaked me out more than he did. Jesus, man. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Just a couple of werewolf buddies. These dudes ain't no problem. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Okay, come here, you son of a bitch, yeah? Torture of justice. No, 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 no. I need... No, oh my god, he made HP back. Come here, you. I like you. Anyway. Jesus. So apparently, if you have insight up in the top right like I do, it also starts to make the game more difficult. Like, and again, this is just what I heard, but it seems to be that most people's opinion that that is the case. Like, enemies and bosses and stuff start to get more moves, and there's more enemies that spawn, and stuff like that, don't really know. What the hell was that thing? It looked like it was growing as I killed it. Oh, wait a minute, I just realized, we saw one of those run away from us right at the beginning of old Yarnum, and I assumed it was just like a scripted thing that was supposed to run away. But I guess maybe they have this game's version of Crystal Lizards. That will make sense, because that one was trying to run away as well. There's a bloody werewolf over there. Ah, oh, shit. Well, seems like a good time for us to actually test out the Molotovs, because we haven't been doing that. Additional... What? I don't even know what the hell that means. I assume that's just something to reinforce my bullets. I know, but uh, screw it, let's use the fire paper, I guess? This may be better used on a boss. I may regret this. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely gonna use the fire paper. Maybe I should use the Molotovs. Oh, I don't freaking know. I don't even have them on the bar. Well, let's try and attract this guy with a pibble. Come here, buddy. What the hell? That didn't attract him? Son of a bitch. Oh, and I hit the wall with that. Oh god! Jesus! Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Heal, run away, and then we're gonna use the fire paper and we're gonna kick the shit out of this guy. We ain't got no time to be dicking around with the Molotovs. Alright, buddy. It's you and me. I think. I don't think the other guy has seen me yet. I really hope not. Damn, that was a hell of a ruse he just pulled on me. Oh, okay, we do a lot of... Oh, shit, we do a lot of damage with the fire paper. No, 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 just keep wailing away, man. Except when he does that... You, werewolf dick. Okay, he's dead. Jesus. That's some more bloodstone shards. Fantastic. We don't even need those to upgrade our weapon at the moment. Oh my god, how cool does the fiery hammer look? Jesus Christ. Come here, you. Oh, oh god, that was terrible. That was just terrible. All oh, right, stamina. No, 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 no. Please just hit him. Stop missing. Is it dead? It's dead. Those werewolves, man. I don't know what it is about them because you can stun lock them very easily. I, well, I do know what it is about them. It's because of those two on the bridge. The beat the shit out of me so badly. I mean, yeah, we only died like two times, maybe three times to them, but they were terrifying. Ever since then, it's like it's like you know when like someone as a kid they get attacked by a dog or something, and they have an irrational fear of dogs after that. I have an irrational fear of werewolves now because of those two on the freaking bridge. The first one, he was a pushover. He may have cost us our first death, but we were unarmed, you know. So yeah, the, the two on the bridge, man. I'm like terrified of the damn things now, even though. They're really not what well, they are kind of bad. Like, again, oh, it does not open from the side. Again, when you're hitting them, and if you can keep them stun locked, not a problem. But they're very quick, and they beat the shit out of you even when you're on the ground. It's, it's, it's just, just terrifying. It's just terrifying. Okay, well, anyway, looks like we can't go in any of the buildings around here. I am smelling an ambush. I don't see anything. This place looks so damn cool. Hello? Oh, it's a ghost buddy. Don't do that, ghost buddy. You freaked me the hell out. Okay, so we probably check down... Yeah, I guess we should check down here just in case. This looks more likely to be a dead end to me. Is it a dead end? Can't go in there either. Can I go around here? Yes, I can. Whoa, okay, that was a ghost. Jesus. You freaked me out. Don't do that. 
Oh, where did you come from? God damn, man, the, the, the ghost, the ghost, like, actually made me gasp. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it happens in every, oh, shit. This is what I mean, man. Like, when they start going on you, they are really dangerous. Then again, I'm also pretty damn dangerous when I get going, yeah? Get out of here, you ambushing son of a bitch. Okay, I don't see anything else around there. I think we grabbed something, but, you know, between the ghost and the werewolf, I don't remember what the bloody hell it was because it was in a blind panic. But yes, more bloodstone shards, even though we need doubles. What's up with the statue? Looks like it's hailing a taxi. Taxi? I need to get the hell out of here. This place is... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, my God. That one actually scared the fuck out of me. The first dude who burst through the door, like right back at the beginning of audio on him, didn't phase me in the least. That guy, I really didn't expect that. Holy hell. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least we got some shit to smash. And we got more antidote. Oh, fantastic. I guess I shouldn't be complaining. It's just, the more that they give us, I can hear something breathing. Oh, it, you're right there. Hello, buddy. But yeah, the more that they give us, the more it leads me to believe we are not past the poisonous shit. It's probably just gonna get worse. Again, it really wouldn't surprise me if when we get out of old Yarnum, we're in, like, fucking Blind Town 4.0. Or, again, the Valley of Defilement, I guess, is technically the uh, original one. Okay, I still hear something breathing. It's kind of sounds like it's coming from over here. I guess we can't go over there. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Can I go in here now? I don't know where we should be going. Let's just keep going this way for now, but yeah, we do want to go check up the... What the hell was that noise? We do want to go check up the top of the staircase. Uh, I'm kind of terrified right now. What the hell is screaming? Oh, is it a YouTuber playing a horror game? Oh, shit. Okay. You notice how I poke fun at YouTubers doing that, but I didn't mention anyone by name. <laughs> you went, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> and this me streaming. <laughs> That's ain't a horror game. It doesn't count. Jesus Christ. Though I think I did mention that... Oh, God. I did mention that this genuinely feels more like a horror game than any horror game I've played or seen in a long time. Okay, so I guess this was the dude that was screaming? Get out of here, you. Go back to doing your face cams. You bastard. Okay, is it silent? Is it secret? Is it safe? I think so. Well, safe for now. It ain't gonna be safe, that's for damn sure. Also, really wouldn't surprise me if we are very close to our third boss. Let's be honest here. We killed the second one in, I believe, episode 5? I think this is episode 8. I mean, 3 ain't that long, but we did have two back to back. To be fair, had I known how to get to the first one, what'd you do now? It's one of those things you could probably just run there within like two minutes. Though again, that dude did seem to be optional. Okay. I can hear that freaking breathing again. Did I? I looted, I looted that dude, right? I was wondering if he was alive or some shit. Anything up here? What the hell was up with the ground? Is that glass? Oh no, it's, it's all broken and shit. It looked like glass because it was so reflective. That was freaky. Freaky, baby. Let me look you up and down Till you say stop Let me play with your body, baby Make you real hot Okay, so we can go up and we can go out here. Here I'm calling an ambush of some description or another. Oh, there you are. Are you the heavy breather? It's like, <sighs> <sighs> what are you wearing? <sighs> oh, that's hot. Yeah, I'll bet. Freaking perverts. Okay, we have a gate. Can I open it? Oh my God, a door I can interact with. Hallelujah. It's a goddamn miracle. I know where I am. Yeah, this is where we climbed to the bottom. This was just past the first crystal lizardy looking fella. Where we went down, we went to the end, there was a ladder, and that allowed us to get to the weird towery thing that had booty up there, and then we could drop off and go back to the beginning. If that makes any sense to you whatsoever. And we got some more fire paper. I am down with that good god camera. What the hell are you doing? Okay, so I guess we're done in here? I really thought this was going to be the building that would lead us to the Gatling Gun Man on the roof. Having said that, we seem to have left the area, and well, I don't want to jinx it, but we seem to have left the area in which he can shoot us. Because, you know, he hasn't shot us in a while. 
And that's my logic for that. So maybe we're going away from him. Maybe you can't get to him, but I would be surprised, man. I don't really know. I really have no idea, but it seems like someone you should be able to kill. That, uh, that statue looks like it's crying. Frankly, I don't blame it. And we got some more bullets. Oh, thank God for that. We only had one for a long time now. I'm going to see what people mean about resources being kind of harder to come by in the late game, because there's just no crazy villager dudes around here with guns to actually drop me bullets. Okay. Oh, there's a booty over here. And we got, uh, what was that, like, Hold Hunter's Mask or something? I don't know. Anything over here? Any enemies? Any more booty? Anything at all? Bunch of wrecked statues and shits, and my phone's scaring the crap out of me. Oh, God. Okay, I'm calling it now, that archway in the distance. That's gonna lead to a boss, or this kind of courtyard here. I guess we'll check... Oh, God, I don't know. But I feel like we're about to find a boss. So, I'm gonna win it here. Hopefully I'm right, but, you know, we'll see. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Bloodborne.